Well, Jimmy Douglas will head to Club and Angle on Saturday night with a few very nice drives. I caught up with Jimmy to find out if there's a best bet. Well, Jimmy driving in outstanding form as per usual. You got three nice drives at Club and Angle on Saturday night, and as per usual, you're a very keen form student, so I know you've done the form for these races. In race two, number four, Total Diva for Peter Hansen. Nice effort here last week. Yeah, really good. She's really going good, the mare. Um, she seems to really take to racing at Menangle. She was terrific last week. Uh, just a little bit unlucky that horse got out underneath us at the top of the straight, but she kept trying all the way to the line. And it probably is a little bit stronger this week against the boys, but she's drawn nicely in four and she should get a handy spot and she won't be far away. Yeah, she certainly made the Honey Queen be honest over those concluding stages. Definitely. That, that was a good quality mare's race last week, like Fairy Tinkerbell led and we were able to get past it. I know it was first up, but still to get past it was a really good effort and the times were really good and she's really going good that mare, yeah. Jimmy, your next two drives are for David Thorne. I just saw him in the barn. He's getting around like a veteran trotter. He's strapped up here, there and everywhere. Unfortunately, he's done a medial ligament. Yeah. Oh, well, um, yeah, hopefully he recovers quickly, but probably better him than everybody loved Ray this week anyway. That's what I'm telling him. Well, let's have a look at everybody love right now. Last time out was successful, and that was just a pearler of a drive. 1-1, one, one, time to run to perfection. One easily. Can he repeat the dose? Yeah, look, everything just worked out for him last week. Um, he's going really good in himself. His last oh, half a dozen runs have been really, really good, and he's always running on, and he's the kind of horse that needs a few things to go his way. He's a little bit one-dimensional, but he has got that turn of foot, and I think he's actually getting stronger and finding line better. So if... Um, you know, last week he just worked out great, as I said. He, he put pay to him quite good at the top of the straight. The week before he got a fair way back and they, they really went slow and he, he got home really good to run four. So he does need that little bit of luck from the draw. He probably does need a little bit of speed on in the race. But if, if he gets any kind of luck in the run, he's going to be the one finding the line at the end. Well, that's why they pay you the big bucks, Jimmy, to get that luck in running. Surprisingly, for such a consistent horse, that was his first win since 2021. And his previous win was also in December. 2020. Yeah, he's probably a, he's still probably a really good money along the way. He just runs a lot of placings. He's always thereabouts. Um, he started off his career with a bang wing in three or four in a row, and then he sort of got to the level where he needed a couple of things to go his way. And he probably hasn't been the luckiest horse, but he had it last week, and hopefully that's a good start. Well, hopefully, Jimmy, after the running of race six, everyone loves Ray and everyone loves Jimmy Douglas. Race eight, number nine, something special. Another very consistent performer for David. For sure. He, he's, a, he's a lovely horse, something special. He's very fast and um, he just needs, again, he probably needs that right run, but he every time, even if he's way back, he's always finding the line. So, um, if there's a little, again, if there's a little bit of speed on, he has drawn a little bit wide, but if there's any speed on at all, he's going to be the one that's finding the line the best in the race. He drew gate three last week, had a very kind four peg roll, finding the line strongly, as you said, behind Arden Messi. Yeah, that's right, and, and there's no disgrace finishing behind Arden Messi. He's a top-quality horse, especially over the 2300, so we're actually really happy with the way he found the line, and um, like I said, he's nine times out of ten, he's going as good, if not better, than anything else down the straight, just making up the ground. Just Unfortunately, a lot of the times he's in that grade, he, he gets a little bit too far back, but when he gets that right run and things are made to order, he, he's always the one finding the line. Well, Jimmy, a nice book of drives, just the three of them, but certainly three quality drives. Is there a best? Oh, look, I'd like to say everybody loved Ray, just being in the big race, the $100,000 race, and I really think he's in the peak form of his career, and he just needs a little bit of luck. It's just the draw is going to be very hard, but if there's a little bit of speed on, he's going to be the one coming home. And Miss X of late, Jimmy, she's been going exceptionally well. Yeah, she has. Really honest filly, just beautiful filly to drive. Um... She went great in the pacing goal final to run second and then third in the Easter egg last week in, in 150. So uh, she's gone for a little bit of a break now, but she's going to come back better and better. And uh, I actually really enjoy driving her. She's a great group of owners and, and she's a lovely horse to drive. Jimmy, as always, good to catch up with you. Thanks for your time and good luck on Saturday night. Thanks, Mick. No worries.